What's going on? What's going on, guys? Sunny, aka the Random Recorder here, back for another WIW. And today we're talking about Matt Reeves, the Batman. It is glorious. From frame one, there is such a high degree of craft here, and I think the first place to start with something like that is the cinematography. Frazier, uh, you may know him from his work on Rogue One and Dune, is doing a brilliant job here. It is so varied and fun. I think something that I really liked was the way that Reeves uses uh, point of view shots. For example, there's a moment where Batman walks behind a Jim Gordon going into the police precinct, and you see all of the police officers look at Batman, and I think, yeah, sure, you could sort of frame that from the side or some other way so that you could see the police officers looking at Batman. But it's so much more powerful when you have them directly staring at you, the viewer, because you are in Batman's eyes. On the whole, the movie has this sort of shallow depth of field, very dark and very gritty look. It feels very much akin to a lot of that stuff from the way that Gotham is portrayed a lot in the comics. I think something that, you know, contrasts a lot with uh, Christopher Nolan's Batman movies where it's kind of just like Chicago for most of it. Here it is not that, and I really appreciated that. It feels so much more atmospheric. And on the whole, like the atmosphere of this movie is amazing. It is so tense and it is so like engaging. And yet sometimes it knows when to be like silly and fun. There's a lot of moments here where it's just kind of a funny movie. Like and and they make jokes and they're very casual and i appreciate those like brief moments of levity but that aren't like obtrusive that aren't intrusive like a marvel movies might be it works really well on top of that i think the acting here is really good um like everyone is hot right putting that aside right like putting aside colin farrell oh my gosh colin farrell's a penguin yo hold on uh <laughs> it's too early for this i just woke up it's too early for this okay listen Putting that aside, everyone here is just turning in a terrific performance. Like Zoe Kravitz does, uh, I think in particular, a really amazing job with Catwoman. She is doing this really, really good job at playing this tortured character that works as a really perfect foil to Pattinson's Bruce, who is also terrific. Uh, he plays this very like secluded, very reserved take on Bruce, like, uh, you know, converse to Nolan's uh, Bale, you know, who is sort of this public figure. Uh, it's explained in the movie that Bruce in the Batman has rarely, if ever, gone out since the murder of his parents. And I think that's a really interesting way to work with that character. Like, that does a lot for giving you the sense of Batman as a tortured figure that is, like, surrounded in this sense of, like, self-loathing and true pain that he will not let himself escape. And that's brilliant. Jeffrey Wright, as always, you know, with Jeffrey Wright, he is amazing. He's brilliant. He is top of the line. I love him as Gordon in this. Uh... He is doing so much and it's working so well. I love the year two dynamic. Like he, he just, he jokes around with him. He like has fun with the Batman. And I love that so much. They, they're so like, they're not grizzled veterans yet, but they're also not like at each other's throats. And I really appreciate that sort of middle ground that Reeves pulls into there. It works so well. And do not even get me started on Paul Dano's Riddler. He's a menace and he's very terrifying. There's like some, stuff in here that like to make a comparison i've seen a lot already um it's very reminiscent of like zodiac and you know david fincher zodiac where he's working on a lot of those like ciphers and he's he's even like i would say dressed in a similar way to a certain degree and it's really effective uh there's a lot of like almost horror like touches especially in the first scene that he's in it's amazing uh one of my favorite shots is when he's killing somebody he throws the murder weapon beside him so he can pummel him and so the, the camera focuses on just the weapon. So you get like the vague outline of him beating the guy up. And it's a lot more effective than like him just beating the guy up. And I love that because it especially makes him look like this giant, like shadowy dark demon monster. And it's amazing. Like, I don't know how to explain this, but there is, I think basically everything about this Riddler is what the Joker was trying to do, but like good and not a ripoff of Martin Scorsese movies. And like, you know, actually very, intriguing and like realistic so I, I love that as well all around there's just an indelible sense of craft here that has not been present in a lot of blockbusters especially marvel blockbusters in a very long time it is so refreshing to see a take on a superhero and a superhero movie and just a blockbuster in general that feels like it has real just effort put behind it like that batmobile scene in the trailer where he jumps the batmobile through fire was real which is so cool like 
I don't, I wish that other people were trying this hard and I'm so glad that Reeves actually does make effort here. It is so effective because this movie really is one of the best blockbusters we've had in years. It is the only one that is not buoyed by like external attachment to these characters. Yes, Endgame was great, but that's, it's only great because I like Marvel. I like these characters. Spider-Man No Way Home is a bad movie the second you stop looking at it from nostalgia lenses. And I hope that other franchises take a cue from this movie and not Spider-Man. So we'll have to see about that. But at the end of the day, it's a very good movie. Go see it. Go see it again. Go see it on HBO Max when it comes out next week or next next month. Uh, just it's such a good movie. Please go watch it. At any rate, that's going to be all for this video. If you watched The Batman and you liked it, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to talk about it. It's a brilliant movie. Uh, there's just a lot of really fun stuff going on there. So yeah, if there are any other superhero movies you guys are interested in or that you want to talk about as well, let me go ahead and drop them down in the comments below. Again, would love to discuss those with you guys. And last but not least, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. If you loved it, consider subscribing. But that's going to be all for today, guys. Run recorders. Peace out.